Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey gang, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, uh, back here at Studio 3B, Canfield, Ohio. And uh, it's, it's kind of sad to say, but it, 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 it's kind of a celebration to say that I am joined uh, for the final time this season yeah. By my friends from Renovation Hunters on the Outdoor Channel. My buddy Chris Filardi on the end. Good to be here. The jokester, the general contractor right there in that beautiful blue shirt, Mr. Kevin Tarkovich. Polo inboarded. And then, then the guy that, uh, uh, yeah, pokes you in the ribs, keeps things light, Mr. <laughs> House Schaefer. And uh, man, have we had a good year. Wow, it's been crazy. Huh? We did. I, it. I tell you what. Disney World don't have the ride we've been on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to promise you, this is the best roller coaster I've ever been on in my life. Oh, Lord. Uh, folks, for those that have been following us, you know, we've been to Hyannis, Nebraska. We came back home, licked our wounds, rested up a little bit, jumped down to Christ, Virginia, did a, uh, just an absolutely beautiful 172-year-old log cabin. Mm -hmm. perched over top a little quarter acre lake or whatever it was and only thing more beautiful than the cabin was the family itself there you go i'm telling you. the joyce family amazing uh number three here we go here we go we travel over to tying us to pennsylvania uh, yeah i mean it's short trip for you guys i loved that it was nice i loved it yeah to my uh, home turf first place i ever hunted right you know, and, and you, you don't live that far from no, that, that community uh, camp that we visited. How about that community? Wow, that was pretty cool. Huh? Once again, tiny towns. Tiny towns, big hearts, big people. Seems to be the recipe across this country, don't it? You know, the community, the Tynesta community was bigger than the whole town of Hyannis. Tynesta. I mean, of, uh, of Hyannis. Hyannis. I mean, just oh, the, absolutely. Just the community. Just, just, yeah. the, community. just the, the collection of houses yeah, it, right there. But it is a tiny town. It's a tiny town, and the the neighbors, the the interaction that they had, all positive, supporting. Yeah. You know, it just shows you not only the diversity of renovation hunters in what the vision of Hal and Chris had, but in the construction process of our builds, we've gone from one extreme to the next, inside, outside, ponds, food plots, um, mm. we've done and it. locations. Yeah, it's all been totally different. And, but we've had the common denominator is family and friends. Yep, 100%. And it, you, I mean, once again, we could not have dialed up and picked a better, more compelling story than this than the Lutz family. Good old double L. They, I'm telling you, wow, you you were there. <laughs> we, y'all 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 got to hear this. This was so. At some point, I had to call Christine Murphy, who's don't get confused. Her maiden name is Lutz, so she is with the Lutz family. But she was the person that sent in the video. She was the person that was the contact point. And it was, uh, after we did it, we decided, hey, you know what? I need to call her and see. We had another, actually another we had, property. We had three other two, properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prospects. Right, to look at. To look at. Yeah. yeah, and they were up there. So that, that worked out great. So I call Christine Murphy up just out of the blue. Well, about five o'clock in the afternoon. And she answers the phone. I said, hey, Christine Murphy, this is Hal Schaefer. And then it was on. <laughs> oh, my God. She started, yeah, we won. We won. She started telling everybody in the house, we won. She went outside. I, we won. We won. I'm like, wait, hold on. No, you haven't won yet. You haven't won yet. 
And, and I can't get her slowed down long enough to, to stop her before she told everybody she won. And then I said, no, you haven't won yet. She goes, oh. I, I said, but you are in the final running. And, and, and then you could hear some of the excitement come back. <laughs> but, but it greatly scaled down from I won. Um, we, it was the best part. I mean, you could right then and there, as soon as she did that, I knew that was the right place. I knew it was the right family. It was the right place. They were so, oh my gosh, I, I can't even tell you the emotion. So I told her, I said, look, we, we never, we're never going to come do a place and commit to doing a place until we go look at it and understand that it is a job that we can complete and we feel like that we can overachieve and you'd right. be super happy with, right? That's, yeah. We owe that to everybody that enters, and y'all know that. Everybody that enters, that sends in a story, before you're chosen, if you're one of the finalists, we're going to come look at your place, right? That's just, that's just part of it. So enter Steve Stack. <laughs> we said, hey, buddy, we're going to come up there. We're going to drive up. Chris came down. Me and Kevin drove up, and we go meet the Lutz family. And so we get there, and they've got food on the grill, stuff been <laughs> smoking, dips, drinks, a cooler full of drinks, just for us to come right. look at the place. Hey, I'm telling you right now, I understand. I'd have been selling it too. <laughs> I will promise you that. Um, but we go look at this place, and, and um, structurally, it was probably the best that, that we've yep. looked at, right? As far as the bones of it. The bones of it. The, the bones of it. It, it was just it straightforward, square house. Um, but there was a lot. I mean, they had over 13 people or up to 13 people staying in a 800 square foot house that had mm -hmm. two bedrooms that were what, 100, maybe 100 square foot? Yeah, it was tight. They were, they were, they were if uh, that. Yeah, 10, 10 by 11. Yeah, so, so yeah. okay, 110. Um, <laughs> Y'all surprised that I'm from Alabama and I could do math, right? Uh, roll Tide. Anyway, um, so we go inside and we're sitting here. We're measuring stuff. We're looking at the floor. Of course, there's some floor problems. And the floor was like the story behind the floor was crazy. It's an old, an, a school in the area, an old school, pulled up all the hardwood from the gymnasium. And they said, don't throw it away. We want it. Right. And they hardwooded the floor with yeah. this old basketball court. <laughs> the, the entire cabin was built from reclaimed material. Yeah. Back in 1970. When nobody thought of doing that. But it was all made it a conventional construction. It was done well. Yes. <laughs> what they they had limited resources, but they did it well. Yep. And that's what gave us a starting point. You know, you come in there and you look at these places and you try to think, what can you do that's going to impact this build? What's going to look right? And you have to approach these places with kid gloves, especially something that's been in the family history for all these Me years. Deep meaning. Deep, deep meaning. meaning. Not just you know, the structure, but you know also some other things that it's, we'll talk about it's later. It's in the family tree. But it's in the family. So you're, you're battling with, you know, we've had some prospects that, Oh, withdrew, withdrew because of too much family turmoil based on what them not be wanting to be updated. Yep. You know, so you approach these things with kid gloves and you're just trying to generate ideas and thoughts. And that that's one of the things that was awesome about having the four of us on site because it's it's a whirlwind of things that we're coming up with. Steve, you were the most important factor in this because you were able to see exactly what we had to work with and knowing the entire product line from Bear Brothers, you're firing away. Hey, let's do this. <laughs> what do you think about that? Hey, I have a product here. I'll show you this. I'll show you that. And you're measuring doors. You're doing this, changing that. And it's like you were able, we could sit down and discuss the nuts and bolts. Hal and Chris are going through looking at different features to incorporate and not only that, but getting a feel with the family yeah. because that is so important to get the family's input. Now they first came out and said, well, we'd like a room built out the front, Yeah, which would have destroyed the whole front elevation and the quaintness and put us way over on timeline because big time, 
Um, but they're getting to know the family and that interaction, giving them a sense of confidence and comfort, but yet pulling tidbits of information that we were able to incorporate into the build, which makes it just exponentially more personal to them. Yeah. They're not just walking into a new place, a cleaned up place. It gives them this, this personal connection that I've received text messages from her and calls and saying, I still can't believe Absolutely. when I come yeah, in right? yeah. and say, this is our new place, but it's, it's our old place. It's still our cabin. Yeah. And that's, that, that is the fine line that you walk with every oh. one of these, every one of these, you can't remove the memories of this right. place. And we did a really good job. I was really proud of our team because we took a lot of things that were in that cabin. Right. And, and we, we kept it there and even made them more of an exclamation point. Right. Chris, they were Chris had the, his two, his main focuses were on two things. They, they didn't care about anything else in that cabin except for two items. Yeah. Rocking chair from their granddaddy. And I mean, I'm not talking about just a cool rocking chair. It was like the, the, you could feel his personality the way they would tell stories about him. And the, ma, the grandma always used to say, don't be a smart ass. And so they had a little a sign, little sign yep. that said, don't be a smart ass. But they the all said door. it. Yeah, yeah, there. The front door and that couldn't leave. <laughs> this this to one part. to me, like Hal said, when I met Christine right away, I knew. In my heart, I knew this was the one. I was just hoping that the story, the rest of the house, everything was good. But these guys, listen, they hunt, they fish, they enjoy the outdoors. They are well known in their community. They have fun, they party, they cook. They have multiple generations. They don't need anything. They had it, and we had the opportunity to work with them to just make, just amp it up to but, make but, it better. They had, they had wants. Oh, they had a lot of wants. Oh, they, 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 yeah. they, they poured that 12 by 24 foot pad for a reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the hope that someday well, it I mean, could be a carport. It was going to be a carport, <laughs> right? right? And, and you got to look at this. So, so we all show up there, right? And, and we're talking inside, and we all come up with a decision. You know what? We're going to do this. Okay, we're going to do this. So we walk down, and I lead her down a road that makes her think we're not going to do it. No, you were dirty dog on it. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost mean a little bit oh, there. Yeah, it, was, it was cruel. <laughs> no. I had, I had to turn. You, had, just... <laughs> you have to bring a full swing of the heart so they could. You didn't swing. You tore it out. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. I never told them we weren't doing it. But... The fact of the matter is, the, when we told them we were doing it, oh my gosh. Oh, Christine, just great. Oh my God, it was, it was awesome. I mean, you, it just don't get any better than that. And right then you say, well, guys, we're going to have to do a better job than we thought. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, because of the, the reaction that she gave was, was amazing. Then she called her sister in South Dakota, Sister Lutz. Calls her in South Dakota, she starts bawling on FaceTiming us. And I'm sitting there FaceTime with her, she's crying, she crying, and I'm like, wow. Okay, Kevin, here you go. <laughs> so, I'm like, I don't want to start crying, because I was about to. In that time, I realized, okay, we, we can do no wrong between the two sisters. But I look over at Brother Jim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jim is the thinker. He's the analyzer. He's the analyzer. He's looking at me, sizing me up, and I'm thinking, oh, dear Lord, please give me the skill set to appease and to, to make this work for them. Right. Because I took it personally. He never, never said one derogatory word. No. Had you, anything. You, you could feel the apprehension. I could feel it. And I, and I discreetly contacted Christine, and I was like, what's your brother's take on all this? Uh, he's a little reluctant to do this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we yeah. can feel that. <laughs> yeah. We no, can feel that. No pressure. He, but, was, he was the protector of the floor, remember? No, no yeah. No, no paint, oh. no stain, no nothing. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was, he, he filled the shoes because this was so dear to them. He was there in, the, in baby pictures, you know, Through as, all as the parents were building this, right. grandparents. So the personal connection is not even... Uh, it's 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 life breathing to him, and in the course of completing this, and I 
told him, yeah. I'm like, listen, you were you were my biggest hurdle that I felt that I had to overcome. He was he was the ghost in the back of your head. Oh, yeah. Was the, yeah, there wasn't a voice. I mean, there was a man with a shotgun in the back of my head. Was, Don't that's screw up my the way cabin. It was. Exactly. And that's how I took it. But he's like, listen, you made this place into something far beyond anything we could have ever comprehended. Well, you and know, that was just that was one of the biggest. That was the biggest compliment from he, all, from anybody. Yeah, yeah. Because and I shared it with him. I'm I'm texting him one night and I sent it to Hal. I'm like, look at this. This comes from Jim. Yeah, oh and my, I'm wow. about half in tears, going, oh, thank you. He's not coming <laughs> after me. <laughs> so, so so we had, and and guy, you, you you won't know how I appreciated you including myself and Baird Brothers in on that that preview and and i i felt like you guys did i thought man what what corner did we just paint ourselves into right <laughs> oh, oh no doubt and you know it's just like once we got started on the house our, our original plan was was to change the cabinets around and stuff like that but they had decent appliances and and then oh my gosh everything started transforming and everything started and and then the, the neighbors and Christine were so helpful with all of our crew and doing yeah. things for us and doing this and gift bags and stuff like this. And I'm like, oh, I, I let uh, Kevin, I said, Kevin, look, it ain't in the budget, but I, I'm, I'm going to get these people new appliances. Said, Where's the budget at? I tell him, <laughs> and he goes, no, it doesn't he, matter. I'm going to get this. <laughs> and, and, you, and you know what? We, the four of us, when we were on site that day, <clears throat> we talked. We could do this. We talked, we could do that. Man, it'd be cool if we could do this. And next thing you know, we're measuring interior doors. Let's swap the doors out. Yeah. You know, and, and having done a couple projects and budgets are Important. There, there for a reason. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, so we, we came up with our wish list, you know, and, and then we started talking numbers and, and man, you know, we'd, we'd wow, love this to, is but yeah. yeah. And so, you well, know, I, without I, a doubt, without I, a doubt, the greatest transformation of the year. I'm, I'm back here in I Canfield, think. Ohio. I might as well have had Paul Holmes because I'm, I'm cheering for this family up in Tyanesta, Pennsylvania right. to right. the family. Right. And <clears throat> all three of us at different times had conversation. Oh, Steve, man, we're not going to be able to do that. We can't afford it. I said, let me go me, back and talk to him. Give me a couple hours. That's what I hear. <laughs> Let me go back. And, and then, and then, so Steve shows up with a cape on and an ass on his chest. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Superman! We got pricing. I don't know if you went to the woodshed and you got whipped and said, you know, here's your thirty lashes. Now go back and tell him yes, you can do it. But not only between the the products, the the shiplap, the tongue and groove, the reclaimed ceiling material the exterior the doors and then the, the law cabin you, exterior. you not only gave us our wish list but you amplified it big time and i'm just like oh my gosh and but we all saw the potential in this well, that, I'm, i made the statement that day up there i says in in and in the most respectful way of cabin life i said we could turn this place into a dollhouse mm. What I say, I, it's exactly I'll, it. I'll sell my property out, out west of the mill here. I could, I could live up, up there at that camp. Well, <laughs> you know, and, and we got to look at this, guys. The one thing that was a pretty common denominator, with the exception of Hyannis, is, you know, there, we, we never had enough power. We never had enough places to plug stuff in it. And if it had not been for the, the technology of Matabo HPT <laughs> power to cordless power tools yeah, and, yeah. The, and the quality stuff they sent us. I mean, do you know how difficult oh. our job, how difficult, well, I mean, from highness all the way down, how difficult, Christ Virginia would have been absolutely impossible. Yeah. It, would, it, would, it yeah. would not have happened. Uh, but how easy they made our jobs, how much easier they made our jobs. Uh, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And then you, you, you look at, Richard from Wall Control and Stephanie, and they come up and they were like, oh, man, what, what can we do here? What can we do here? Because there wasn't a lot to do in the house with the wall control. No. And there wasn't, there wasn't a lot to do in the new room with wall control. But they had a big storage yeah. building out back, 
And, and then like most any storage building, like mine would be, like anybody's would be, it was cluttered. It was yeah, cluttered that's bad, all. right? So we empty everything out and wall control goes to work in there. And oh my gosh, did they turn that building around? And then we like, I'm like, yeah, I done built one skinning shed. We put another one up. <laughs> <laughs> so we came off the end of the barn and put another skin and shed there, more wall control, more of our friends from Case Knife and Zippo. And then these guys love a fire pit, so our friends from Zippo made, made us a whole Zippo kit for starting fires. And the thing about that is, people don't even realize it, they make the best fire starting equipment in the world. And nobody wants to sit there and fight a fire when you got all your friends over and your neighbor over. Click, boom, bam. It's you burning. got heat, baby. It's, burning. It, it's rolling. And, you know, from all that, but I have to say the people who came in truly with S on their chest was our friends from Sweet Dreams Furniture. Oh. They, what, what, what they did there was so over the top. What's the best cake, tasting cake in town if it isn't frosted beautiful? Oh my God. There right. you go. Yeah. 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 What's that? And you know that old saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too? That's the dumbest saying in the world. If I'm going to have a birthday cake, I ain't, I'm going to eat it. And there's, I don't eat, I've never understood that saying. You don't have your cake and eat it too. Well, by God, yes, I can. That's just what cake was made for. So we had our cake and ate it too with this job. Um, and that I'm, I'm, Katie and Greg, oh my God, they, she spent so much time. On, on that. She was working with Kevin and... and We were back and forth. forth. I'm showing her the paint colors for everything. I'm like, all right, here's our palette that I want to generate. Yeah. What do you got? And I mean, they are... I expected, okay, let's... They'll do a bed here. They'll do a nightstand. <laughs> they'll do, you know, maybe a lamp. Oh, no. We're coming in there. We're doing full linens, dressers, everything else. Oh. So, and it... But the thing is... <laughs> If you would have put that stuff in that cabin as it sat originally, it would no, no, yeah, it's a fish out of water. No. But, but you could have done all that and it had been putting lipstick on a pig. I mean, it really would. Yeah. As we're doing that that build, I mean, you spent how many days there, Steve? Eight, yeah. Eight days, full days, and and not walking around. You're in there. We're in there building frames. I mean, you're oh. you're doing everything. You're doing. You're hanging doors, putting lock sets in. You're teaching, you're installing, and working as hard as everybody else in there because, like you said, you saw the potential in being a dial house. And as they started bringing stuff in, it was like, man, this is really going to pop. I'm, I'm telling you, it really could have. It really could have been the cover of Better Homes and Garden, Martha oh, yeah. Stewart. Any of that, any anything in there, you could have done. You could have late took pictures of that, which we did, and the video. And you guys just saw this. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. That house was one of the most beautiful. Yeah. You know, when, they, when they went through the reveal, I've ever seen. They thought originally that it was just kind of spiced up and and outfitted for the TV show. And we were going to take all the stuff they back. Thought we were That's what the family thought. They They're thought, like, no, we had, it's yours. Yeah, no, this is yours. <laughs> and she goes, what? She goes, we get to keep all. And it was like, wow, because they they threw, uh, they thought we were staging it. Yeah. yeah. You know, they were staging it for what it could look like. Yeah. They had no idea they were keeping that stuff. We all talked about turning the corner in that back community and realizing you drove down this road eight days ago <laughs> in this little house, this little greenhouse sat there. It was just. And was, you come back, we were afraid if they came in, they would drive past it because it was that monumental change now it's an eight-day renovation rebuild we have our limitations but we maxed out oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. we were capable but, of doing no, but, I, but we had the chance and we all recognized that we had more confidence in, oh, wait, the, this in, 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 in the build and the makers and by far yeah. the smoothest if it if it hadn't have been for COVID slapping at us, by far, the smoothness, the efficiency, the camaraderie of that build was by far, still even with, with us having to deal with people getting sick, it was by far the best. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, you, you, you say things happen for a reason, right? Oh, yeah. And then, then I want to I go into some other, other stories. 
First night in town, I drove up to Franklin on Sunday and I go, go down to dinner and a couple was sitting next to me. And of course you start conversation with them. Well, here he was the editor for the three newspapers in the Franklin Tyanesta area, right? <laughs> Crazy. I, I said, I, uh, every bill. Th this is nuts. This is nuts. And, you know, so what are you doing in town? And I tell him, I'm in here with renovation hunters and we got a little project going up on the hill in Tyanesta. And he says, oh, okay. You know, he says, I'll have somebody reach out to you, and, and which he has. And, and uh, <clears throat> so a couple days later, I'm driving over to Tyanesta from Franklin in the morning and I'm going through the radio and I come on a country song and I'm listening to it and the song's over and I hear a voice and it's, it's the DJ on this country radio station, this radio host. I says, man, I know that voice. Well here, as I listen to him through two more commercial sets, He's a kid from over here in Boardman, Ohio, used to be on K105, our local radio station. Oh, cool. I reached out to him on the phone. I said, dude, what are you doing over here? He says, yeah, I switched over to Froggy a couple years ago. And so now he's on board. He says, that's cool, you know, great story, guys. And, and I, told, I told Mackenzie Cross from Ice Energy, I said, Ken's, we are supposed to be here. Right. <laughs> no doubt. Right? No doubt. So, so I show up on Monday. Monday morning, <clears throat> and Kev, you had a crew out already starting to lay plates on the new addition. Mm -hmm. had, had some folks inside. Not everybody had showed up yet. We started dropping those old ceiling tile, right? <clears throat> Shuttling stuff out to, out to the dumpster. Before the end of the first day, we're starting to put four-inch roughs on, reefs on, shiplap siding up on, up on yes. the ceiling, you know? And it was like, wow. We hit the ground running on this. Yeah, it really did. The transformation started quick. I gave them a tough schedule, but I said, listen, if you follow this, because we, we always have some variation that, that jumps into the mix, but it's like, if, if you follow this, we can get this done. It's a lot of work, but you guys nailed it. I mean, I don't have to be inside. I'm, I looked at you, I'm like, keep an eye on things. If you have any questions, just answer them. I know you can do it. You have more experience than anybody else wrapped up in there. And it, it's, it, I can breathe easier because now with the time that we've spent on these jobs with the people, I know what people are capable of. They know More what's to be expected. They're in their comfort level. I'm in their comfort level. You and Rob are hanging doors. You know, yeah. I'm tearing the ceiling down. The girls are popping ceiling up. And everybody, it is a well-oiled machine at this point. It, it really was. And it Chris, was. It was. Chris was had handled so all these logistical things through there, and to send him on a window acquisition. <laughs> oh God, I forgot about that. And then they can't yeah. find. I mean, you want to kick somebody in the teeth? Get a phone call from him at the window plant, so they can't find one of your windows. We have the. This is day two. We have the windows already framed up. There's no change. These are windows. <laughs> you can't just go pick up windows anymore. But with Not that this... said, the guys from Mike and Howe were awesome to us with these oh, windows. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they wanted to be a part they, of this they thing. They did find it. Yeah, they found it. But, you know, the, the stuff they sent us was really good stuff. I mean, it, it really was. Um, and so a big thank you to those guys. They, they, did, an, they did an awesome job. I was, only, just... I was only really worried the second day when the squirrel... Uh, blew the fuse of the transformer in front of the house. I, <laughs> when that we kind of freaked power? me out a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Everybody says, why did we lose power? Did we cause that? Did we cause that? But nah, <laughs> dead squirrel over next to the transformer. <laughs> but you know what? Replacing them windows might have been the smartest move you guys made. Because then that allowed us and the makers, it was a cakewalk. I'm pushing stuff. So, all materials in and out, in and out. It, we have yeah. that worked. That and and the fact it gave us an approach on the trim. We had that oh, yeah. we had that beautiful three and a half Absolutely. inch casing in there, that craftsman style casing, right? And we built extension jam boxes out of our flat stock, poplar finger jointed flat stock. The makers pre-assembled them to measurements that we yep. determined. We trimmed out windows like Grant took Richmond. It was yeah. a professional trim job that you and the makers were able to do because 
we were at that point and having the materials and everything set up and it just it was so fluid and we're just like and this you is, know what we found this out, is happening the, the the biggest thing i learned here is the only thing that Baird Brothers Lumber don't make is toothpicks and rolling pins. I mean, <laughs> we make rolling pins. <laughs> you do? We do make. We we make French pastry rolling pins. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, please don't say that out loud. I'll have to buy one for my wife. Do we get um, to talk about Cougar Bob's? <laughs> right. Because that was one of my fun nights, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nate Hosey, did he turn it out for us? He sure Another did. Another star of the Outdoor Channel. He came out and joined us. Uh, just a good brother in camo, you know. And he came out and he did, I mean, he was awesome. Nate Hosey did such a great job at Cougar Bob's. I mean, how do you have a better event than at a place called Cougar Bob's? So Chris, Chris says- In the middle of nowhere. I, in the, in the Chris middle says, of nowhere. Chris says, I have a place nowhere. that we can do no, this. Yeah. Hey, I, I'll have a place, it's called Cougar Bob's. And I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, this great. ain't real. And he goes, no, no, I've been there. Have many you been times, there? Many times. I started hunting in Tynestin. I'm from the city, so I didn't know anything. But I was always in the back seat after we got our deer and we would go to the bars. And there was only two bars and one of them was Cougar Bob's. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was so much fantastic. fun. So it was a great break for everybody. And um, the family interaction again. Oh yeah, they is, loved it. Yeah. They yeah. had such a blast Just there. like in Kreitz where we can enjoy, get to meet, the makers get to meet the family. I yeah. mean, we have that luxury. Of, of the initial introduction, but, and you know, on the first day, but then they scatter, the, the, the owners scatter or whoever, um, the family scatters. Yeah, and we the told them they had come to in. scatter. And, and the neighbors took a soul, I mean, they, they took a pledge that they would not yeah. send pictures. They came and filmed everything and pictured everything. They brought us coffee, they had biscuits out there, they had food out. I mean, every morning, our buddy, oh, yeah. We had coffee, yeah. cups, everything. 80 foot extension. Yeah, get I mean, up, get it was coffee. awesome. The guys across the street, oh my gosh, they were, they were big hunters and, and we got to sit and talk hunting after, after the build. It was, it was really, it was really just such the perfect way to finish 2022 uh, renovation Just, just the way it progressed, you know, Kevin and, and, and a couple of the guys, uh, Camper, Mike, and uh, oh. Sasquatch. Oh yeah, we had right? Sasquatch with us. Yeah. Right? My buddy Sasquatch, Larry, Larry Miller, Miller from the Outdoor Channel. Long time buddy of mine. We've hunted together so many times. Um, Sasquatch is, he was our crane. We used him <laughs> as the crane. <laughs> he's uh, he's six, 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 seven, I don't know, six, eight. He's somewhere in there. And I think he's still growing. Yeah, he's stronger yeah. than freaking three oxes. Um, so we, we'd, ha we'd have him. He would lift JR up on the roof and put him up there, no ladder needed. Um, I mean, and him and JR, you know, they actually bonded. You know, they actually got together and, and they actually, uh, JR went hunting with him yeah, I just, just saw, here recently. I just saw. So they, they had a great time. I got a great picture of them on the roof. It's like <laughs> Mutton Jeff. It is it's fun. It's like two of them. But you know, when they, the makers and JR being a contractor and Laramie had construction skills he, he grew up his dad doing concrete and he's always done some carpentry but when they're they see what's going on they embrace it and their sole goal is to do as best as best a job as they can and have fun doing it because they're up on the roof i i don't know what conversations have transpired you know obviously yeah. hunting they were obviously planning well their hunt. those two i mean jr's here he's here they breathe different air yeah. i mean they yeah. really do <laughs> they breathe different air but i'm going to say something about jr right now now jr and his adorable gorgeous wife sharon that those two are the most home down southern country people live in the mountains that you ever want to meet and jr has one speed and it don't have any stop in it yeah he starts and he don't stop till it's finished, and he keeps rolling. He's it, a true marathon. I oh, mean, I'm telling you. How about how about, how about <laughs> turning Sasquatch and him loose on that on that wood siding? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they killed right. it. Okay. You know, I mean, as soon as that 12 by 24 edition was framed, you know, in that yeah. back corner where the house was too low, it was cool. Sasquatch picked the house up. He put a brick <laughs> under it, got it level. We kept rolling. I mean, you know, that, and and then, you know, there was guys putting siding on. 
putting that one by eight tongue and groove pine in the new addition on the ceiling, you know, yep. people hanging Camp, drywall. Camper, Camper and Mike yeah. doing the, the ceiling. You know, we're, we're framing, we're, we're doing a electrical framing, insulation, and started trimming out in a matter of a day. Camper and Mike, I mean, they knocked it out. They, the, what they did on that, I mean, from everywhere they did, from, from the speakeasy they did there, the, they, they kept going until it, I mean, it was another one. They kept going until it was done. It was finished. Right. Yeah. But you want to talk about every time when they brought one of these custom blinds out, everyone progressed to bigger, better, cooler. Yeah. There you so, go. There you so, go. So, so the Lutz family don't have the luxury, right, of owning their own property. So they hunt on state land. Well, you can't go put up permanent blinds right. on government land. On state land. land. Right. right. You can't do it. So we, we challenged JR and Mike to this. So they made them a blind that they could pull with a, a UTV, a truck, or whatever, set up and, and leave. Same thing, totally off-grid, works on solar panels. <laughs> this yeah. son of a gun, though, has refrigerator, fans, TV. LED lighting, <laughs> and a flat screen. Coffee pot. And a coffee pot and massaging seats. The chairs you sit in massaged you, and they laid all the way flat. So yes. the cool thing about that is, is the reason we don't hunt mornings during early season is not because deer aren't out. They are, but they're always out in the food sources that you want to go hunt. That's why you wait till the evening because they go to bed. You can sneak out there, get in your stand, and then the deer come back out to feed late evening. But with this bad boy, you lay them flat, throw you a pillow in there, and you can take you a siesta overnight. And beep. set you a little alarm on your phone. Beep, beep. Wake up. You've been there all night. Here come the deer. Light comes up. The deer are present. Bag your game. Change the game when it comes to early season hunting. They're, they're, they're yeah. good. These boys are smart. You know, and, and in conversation and in this, this concerning the blind, the custom blind they built, and their idea, and it might have been JR mentioned it, or it might have been one of Mike or uh, uh, Camper. Camper down there in St. Augustine. But I didn't realize it over on towards the East Coast, <clears throat> just like back here in Ohio, the soybean fields. Oh, yeah. Well, over there, it's the peanut fields. Oh, yeah. And big time deer. Yeah. And they follow the peanut fields with their mobile blinds. Oh, absolutely. You know. And I thought, how cool is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like you say, to the to the state and federal land, no permanent structures on it. Right. You hook it up, you drag it out. Yep, exactly. Day, it's not permanent. Days hunt. So if you're gonna be hunting all week, you leave it there yeah. all week and then you haul it out when you're done. Right. No harm, no foul, and and you did it in extreme comfort. So <laughs> camper, one thing about camper, he gonna do it in comfort. Oh yeah. Comfort. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> camper's gonna do it in comfort. Um no, it, and, 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 and it's, it's the same storyline. This one was, was a little bit more on steroids. I mean, a complete transformation of that house, leaving the character. Kevin, you mentioned the front elevation. Didn't, yeah. didn't change it, enhanced it with the new addition? There was a window at that front kitchen sink that I fell in love with the As first day I. we got As there. I. Because I... Yeah, in cool all window. the years, I have never seen a window like that. Me neither. Typical cottage cottage. It's window. a cottage yep. style with divided light above. It had like a little uh, screened um, window section in the middle. That that it was a case. It actually, it was a casement style. It was right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So two fixed panes on either side. But I'm like, there's no way no. we're gonna replace this. No. So I decided to get the new windows to do all divided light to replicate that and actually accentuate it because now it flows across the front with the Baird Brothers log siding that you provide it. That went that, fit perfect. It, it lined up everything the whole way around the cabin. Yeah. It, it looked like we replaced every window in that. It, it, and I was like, okay, this is going to be, this, this window here is, is my baby. Day one, we start framing the addition. 
and Mike <laughs> sends a two by six through that window. We were like, I'm, oh my God. I'm no. up on the roof. I grab my chest. I'm going, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me it's only the glass. Just tell me it's only that. Yeah, it's only the glass. And he, I got, please put a piece of plywood up. We got, and I'm like, oh. and then Joni's dad, Joni's dad, he used up. to be a glass worker. Yeah, he used to be a glass Showed, setter. Yeah, he, shoop, yeah, done. You couldn't even tell it ever happened. It was so cool. So you know, he's finishing that up. Joni's on the inside working, and the makers had just steamrolled over that interior renovation, sanding the floors. Adam ate sawdust for two days. Rob Robbie is sanding yeah, perimeter. Yep. yep. Rachel and Christy. And Joni are sanding and painting and banging up trim and ceiling. I'll tell you, I ate a lot of sawdust on that trip because I was a saw boy for a couple of days and <laughs> whew, I ate a lot wow. of sawdust. And that, but then, that, that, so my boy here goes, Hal, um, you know, that big old fuel tank over there it really needs to go away. That's ugly. And that big tower. That, did you see that thing? It was built like it'd hold yeah. up a water tank. It was a, it was a TV antenna that was triangulated in solid cast steel. I mean, I, I think that was a booster TV antenna for the East Coast to the West Coast. I think so. They were using it for skip radio. Um, <laughs> I'd like to uh, skip it, but so we just take the old Matabo recip saw, ring, ring, and I was like, boy, that was certainly easy. And then that third one, we just cut it, pushed it, and she was boom, timber. Right, right alongside the tent. And then, <laughs> then we had to get rid of the, there was fuel in, in the, the oil tank. Yeah. In the oil tank. So, had to drain all that out. And then the, we had a scrap guy that was coming to pick all this stuff up. And then all of a sudden he don't show up. We got a reveal to do and we got dumpsters here. The dumpster <laughs> people hadn't shown up. So all at the last second, everything has went so smooth. And all at the last second, we've got these things that are just gonna destroy the reveal. Yeah. Right? So. And the crew's dropping like flies. So. Because oh, of being sick. Yeah, everybody oh yeah. Sick. Uh, and so. <laughs> I'm on the phone and I'm talking to this dumpster guy and I lost my Southern politeness. Yeah. <laughs> went they, right in the dumpster. And, and yeah. it's exactly yeah. where it went. And they showed up and, and the last, I mean, literally right before 12, we were getting ready to 12 do the minutes reveal. Before oh, we, the we were reveal. waiting yeah. for the family. Yeah. 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 The, the, the family is stacking up and they had to drive the dumpster truck around their parked cars to, yes. yeah. To, yeah. to pick up the dumpster. And I was like, <laughs> uh, you do have a sense of humor, Lord. But anyway, we right. got it. We're all good. Yeah, and, you know what? And and man, it, you could walk in any room of that house, call it your favorite. From the new addition, oh no, the, doubt. the accessorizing uh, yeah. into the kitchen. You know, and and we want to thank you guys for the inclusion again on this project. Anything from baseboard to casing, the countertop. My, one of my favorite pictures that I've come across thus far is of the kitchen, those white oak countertops, that new casing around that cottage window, and it just looks like it's been there for years. Yeah, yeah. it does. You know? Yeah. 100%. And, and the, the ceilings, and, and we took a dark cabin and made it brighter. Mm -hmm. And the new addition that you designed and built, and the windows, and uh, I mean, the brightness and everything's I mean, picture our, framed. Our friends from Moss Epoxies, oh, yeah, they yeah. showed up big time. Right? You know, the every, game table. Oh, you know. They, oh, yeah, and so and cool. again, family related to that. Yeah. Applicable products that they can utilize. And then when the family gets to be too much, we had the Booner Bar. Oh, yeah. The Booner Bar. Yeah. My buddy Dane uh, from Toledo Twisted Steel. What a talent. Right? Did you see right? what he, I mean, you want to talk about blacksmithing and ironworking and craftsmanship and, and, and an artist. Yeah. The Booner yeah. Bar. It, it was like a piece of art. It, it really was. was. The Booner was. Bar was amazing. I was jealous. No, I yeah. was seriously jealous of the Booner Bar. Yeah. I'm like, why is that not in my office? We, you know, we, right? we conjured up a rough idea while sitting in Pittsburgh Airport for our third or fourth delayed yeah. flight Drew it after up. the initial <laughs> visit here. And he goes, I think we need a bar here. And I'm like, all right. So I said, what do you think if we do it in antlers, holding up the bar top? Right. I'm like, yeah. So I draw it up and he goes, I got this guy that will do it. So I sketch it out, draw it to, you know, send it over to him. He sends it to Dane and <laughs> he shows up he, with he a plasma cutter, up. a welder. I mean, the guy brought everything. And this, the set of 
steel antlers. Yeah. Solid and, steel. And yeah. I look at it, and I look at the picture, which I thought, you know, that was like the wish list. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It's better. It's, it's better. <laughs> it's, it, yeah. And then he goes, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to, I think, I said, I think. And Dane looked at me. He goes, I know what you're going to say. You want the antlers to come up through the bar top. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was the ultimate touch. And he, you know what? He did it. We yeah. sat there and drilled and sawed and, and sanded. And oh my gosh, the piece of wood he brought was amazing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just that. But I look at I would what, go there and stay oh, for time on end. That place yeah, is yeah, yeah. amazing. What our sponsors were able to deliver, what they contributed to the build, what our team was able to do. It, that is the perfect ending to a perfect first season. It, it, everything gelled. The impact to the owners. So uh, that's, you, you that's, know, where I, like, that's where I was so, going. Like yeah, I, yeah, it, we it thought, just, we always said we that's, you know, when we made up the idea of the show, we said that's the storyline. And we always assumed it'd be great, but we didn't really talk about it because we didn't know what it was going to be. You can't predict it. You, you can't no. predict it. No. And, and it was fabulous. And so what I would do is I would say to all of those fans, that, that want us to come to their place, you know, be real with us, give us video, tell us what you want to do, tell us your history, tell us your family, because if we know that, we could, we could kill it if, you know, if we have the time and the right resources. And I, and I just think people need to understand that the more honest they are and the more emotion they got, we will, we will deliver. And just give us the that. real story. You, you, yeah. you know don't, don't give us, don't give it, just give us the real story. We want to know what we can do to make your family bigger, better, and more cohesive? Uh, one thing in common, two things in common. Tiny town. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And fantastic families. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's the thing, you, you look at it, we, we probably will never go to uh, a Charlotte, North Carolina, or a Detroit, or a, you know, a Boston or anything like that, because we're not going to find places that get you outdoors there. Right. Exactly. Right? exactly. So it's going to, it's going to, it's going to always relate back to tiny towns and, 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 and families and, you know, finding that story of, and, you know, yet I, and I, and I'll, and I'll say this, I'll guarantee you, we haven't found the best story yet. There is still a better story <laughs> out there. That's a scary statement. But but no, but I guarantee. It's a true statement. It's it a true guarantee. Yes. We that is what we are here to do. We are going to find that story, and we're going to go out there and and change people's lives. That's what we want to do, guys. We could we could sit here and and oh yeah, and talk the rest of the day away, right? Yep. About about this particular project house in Ty and Nesta. All three are out there for people to enjoy now, families to enjoy in person, but for the viewers, uh, Outdoor Channel Renovation Hunters, uh, Chris Filardi, Kevin Tarkovich, and Hal Schaefer. I really don't know how to say it. Personal gratitude? No, wow. you, you, look, you, don't, you guys, truly, and, and I know both these guys feel this way, you don't have to say a word. You, Baird Brothers' actions speaks yeah. it all. You have to say nothing. You guys, we couldn't have formulated, we couldn't have, we couldn't have prayed for, formulated, engineered, computer drew better partners oh. than you guys. And your actions say it all. When I got here, when we come here and met everybody here. Right, at, right. Dude, I mean, I'm like, man, these, these are the coolest people in the world. And that, that is a great thing, you know, because ultimately you, the richness True richness in your life is about relationships and friends that you make along the way. Dude, man, I just went from up in the richness of friends when we came here yesterday. Oh, so Steve, it's, it's been I, amazing. I, I want to I make the correlation between the tiny town. You know, we talk about the tiny town and what it has to offer. We wish we could take everybody in the country and show them the tiny town. After two days of being with you and your company and your family mm -hmm. here, I feel like you're a tiny town, all all in its own. Right this company, oh, and, and oh it's, very much so. You know, and that's tiny town, big family. When 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 uh, when you approached us and and some of the family, Chris, myself, and some of the family, and then we had a couple Zoom meetings with mm -hmm. these with these characters, and and the premise of the show, 
and the reason behind it. And, and uh, guys, what they're preaching, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. You're here. It, it, with with your proven. family, with it, your family and friends, absolutely. the people that mean something to you, the people that you have the opportunity to. I said that coming here and meeting everybody at Baird Brothers is like family, but I was mistaken because you all get along better than family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on a good day. On a good day. <laughs> and, and and I will close with this, guys and gals and people out there. We all just came through a horrible three years. We all lost people very special to us that we loved, family, friends, everybody experienced that loss. Don't let that happen and say, I wish I could have done this. I wish I would have spent time with this. I wish we would have went camping. I wish we'd have done this. Don't have those regrets. It don't matter what your place is like, right? We can't fix them all. Right. It don't matter what your place is like or wherever it is, if it's even intense. That's how my family, that's how I grew up. We didn't grow up in a, in a cabin. We grew up tent camping and pop-up camper camping. Don't take it for granted. Tell that person you love them. Go spend time with them. Sit down at a table and eat and converse with your family. Leave your phones somewhere else. Take that time. The investment you make will repay you tenfold, and you will not live this life with regrets. Yeah, there, yeah. there you have it, folks. Hey, you've just finished up 2022 with Baird Brothers and Renovation Hunters. And uh, these three are being a little bit quiet mouth about what's coming up in 2023, but I can't wait. So y'all better stay tuned. Put your seatbelts on, guys <laughs> and gals. It's going to be fun. Follow Renovation Hunters, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, Instagram, Facebook, through the websites, and more coming at you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Thanks Steve. For all you folks listening, Thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at bairdbrothers.com. Until next time, 